extrusion of this volcano into the crust. Now I will go and talk a little bit about the effect on water. Water is a, is, a, is a phase which is present in the earth in many, many different places in the crust, in the pores of the rocks. And this water has a pressure, and this pressure has a very, very important effect on the way rocks behave. And that is the final part of my talk today. Um, I want to illustrate this effect with a number of very simple examples. This one, which I like very much, is potato chips, which is packed in the supermarket with a little bit of gas sealed into the back. So now what happens is if I want to crush the chips, I can't. I actually put a stress on this bag, but I can't put pressure on the chips. You can hear it rattling, because the stress that I put in here is not effective. Why is it not effective? Because the gas is compressed and it pushes my hand back. So the pressure in the porosity of this chips is so high that the effective stress in this porous medium is basically zero. Okay? So core pressure, the pressure in porosity, if it's high, it can render the sediment completely cohesionless. It can turn it into quicksand. The other very uh, simple and very beautiful uh, explanation of this effective stress is this vacuum packed coffee. Now, in the coffee, there is no pore pressure because they have excavated or they have taken out the air. There is vacuum inside. But of course, outside, there is quite high stress because the air pressure, which is about 10 newtons per square centimeter, one atmosphere, gives you about a force which equals to the force of your body standing on this. That is the atmospheric pressure. So there is a lot of force pushing this together, and it makes it hard, because the pressure of the force doesn't push back. So you can see on these two very simple examples that core pressure can have an enormous effect. And the third example comes from the entrance of the Jewish National Centrum. <coughs> what you see here is a huge sphere of granite. Maybe some of you have seen this. It is in the seat, which exactly fits the sphere, and then on the bottom, they have a stream of water. And the stream of water is able to keep the sphere floating on the thin film of water. And in fact, if you go back to my calculations of the sensible block, you will find out that the pressure in the water that you need to lift this enormous block is very small. You can use, do this with tap water. There is no special pump which needs to put a very high pressure on the sphere. And the pressure of the water can take away completely the friction. And you can move this enormous sphere with your hands. And this is one of the explanations which people have come up with to explain in the trust belts the reason that you have very large horizontal overtrusts. There is no, there is, there are just a few other ways to explain why such horizontal overtrusts can move. And one of them is that there is very, very high pressure fluid in these trusts, which takes away the shear stress because it reduces the normal stress, the effective normal stress on this trust plane. So, we have talked about this stress matrix. Now we introduce the effective stress matrix. 
the effective stress matrix is stress matrix minus Kronecker delta times the pore pressure. And it is often written as a dash, the effective stress. And if you want to understand mechanics and friction in the earth, you don't just have to take into account the stress in the dry rock, but always have to take into account the pressure of the fluid. And now for the final explanation of this, what is fluid pressure, I'm going to show you one more little demo. This is the incredible coffee machine. You all know this machine, maybe some of you actually have it. And you know that if you put coffee into it, then you have to push the thing down. And now what I want to ask you is to think about what is the function of the pressure in the water when you go down. At this point, my plunger is at the top, the pressure of the water increases as density times gravity acceleration times depth. So it's a simple linear function. Okay? But what is the pressure of the water when I push this down during this process? Well, at any given point where the plunger is, and I've now drawn here a little bit of coffee uh, also, well, up here it's very simple. It starts at zero and it goes down to this point. Density times traffic acceleration times depth. But now here, at the bottom of the coffee, there is an additional pressure. Because I'm pushing, there's a force, and you can divide it by the area. So the pressure down here is like this. And then below the plunger, it increases again. It increments density times gravity acceleration times depth. So the function of pore pressure, water pressure, is something like this. There is a complicated transition in the coffee, and then it is like this. Now, just imagine that what we have here is a sedimentary basin, and my little plunger is a layer of clay stone. The sedimentary basin is compacting, and it may take a million years to do that. But the clay stone is not so permeable, and during the subsidence of the clay stone, there is constantly an overpressure underneath my clay layer. This is actually very common in many sedimentary basins. There is a layer which seals above it, the pore pressure is hydrostatic, and below it, it can be much higher. And this is the, one of the final pictures of my lecture. Here is the pore pressure now, increasing, just like I showed it to you with a coffee machine. This is my placement seal, and then below it is like that. This is my vertical stress. This is my very complicated horizontal stress. And this is the pressure of the fluid which a driller needs to put into the hole to keep it stable. And at this point, the core pressure is almost the same as the horizontal stress. And the driller has the task of putting the pressure of this drilling fluid right into this little hole between the two values. Because if it doesn't, then it will get a big accident. And <coughs> this is one of the consequences that you can get. If below this seal there is not just water, but for example gas, natural gas, then you actually will get a blowout. Because the fluid is the drilling fluid is not able to keep the well stable, and you can get accidents like this can be very, very expensive. So, these high fluid pressures in the Earth have a huge effect. They are mobile, the, the fluids, they can destabilize the rocks. And my last picture is a diagram of five years of injection of water somewhere in Colorado, in the United States. 
This is the amount of water they inject in at every point, of the water. Okay. And on this side are the earthquakes. So people living in this village where they injected the waste water started noticing that when the pumps were going very strongly, you got more and more earthquakes. And of course the explanation is simple. You increase the effective stress if you draw down the fluid pressure, but you decrease the effective stress if you increase the fluid pressure, and the pumping of the water into the earth decreased the effective stress, and therefore the faults would move. And look here, this is a very, very famous case. After about one and a half year, people really started protesting. They stopped injection, the earthquake stopped, and then something changed again, they started injecting, and the earthquake started again. And this is a very, very common situation that the injection of high pressure fluids can actually induce earthquakes. Um, maybe you all or some of you have followed the history of this man made mud volcano in Indonesia. It was on the internet, it was on the news. What happened there is that the company drilled a hole with a high pressure fluid in the well and they hit a fault zone. And they destabilize the fault zone. In the tutorial, there is an exercise about this. They destabilize the fault zone. They create a pathway for high pressure fluids. And now a whole village has been buried by the mud which is coming out of the volcano. And after several years, it is still active. Okay, thank you very much.